Hello members, so this is day 8, uh, this is day 8 of our app, so if you watched my previous video, you must have seen in attempt to uh, add some functionalities to this, a table of this kind, um, I made a video trying to show you how you can add the import functionality, and in this video, if you remember very well, in this video of extracting excel data to json if you have not watched it you can still find it on my youtube channel i showed you this demo uh whereby we had these functionalities whereby you can preview the data and you can even save the data we saw this now taking it one more step further so in the course that we are doing uh where we are building the inventory management app uh, we just went ahead and added in a new feature. I'm just going to show you in a second. So this now, we have here the export and the import. And in today's episode, which is episode 8, we are actually implementing uh, two things. We added the data table successfully. If you can look at this, you can see how many rows. You can see, you can change the data to be shown. You can paginate. Uh, so, uh, we are trying to add now, after the data table, we are trying to add more features like uh, import. Of course, you can create a new category using a form. Uh, this is not a big deal. We went and also implemented this in some previous videos. But the one I want to show you right now is actually importing it from Excel. So, we take it one more step further to build a nice UI to handle this. So check this. So when you click here, you get a nice pop-up of Excel uh, upload. You can download a sample data file. You can see the download already. I have it already. But some, a client can download the sample data. They can see how the data is arranged and then they can know how to arrange theirs. Okay. And then here they can go ahead and upload their Excel files. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag. I just drop in my Excel file. And before I show, I want to show you the Excel file. These are categories. So I'm just going to go to a folder here and open for you the categories. So, so far you can see these are the categories here. Uh, we have the category, category has the image, it has a title and a description. And uh, these are some of the images and these are some of the categories. Now, I want you to check one thing. If you look at this, the chat, email, blog and phone categories, these ones have been already actually uh, created. If you look at this, we have the chat, email, blog and phone calls. So if a user tries to actually upload the same data, we don't have to make the duplicates. That is the first functionality uh, we added. Let me just go and show you. So you can just come here. Let's add the categories. Uh, these ones, we can, of course, preview the data uh, here, just like this. You can see all these categories that are here. We have them. If I click Save Data, is going to try to sync and uh, like this data sync successfully we can cross and you said there is nothing that has been added to this because all the data that is there has been synced you don't have to upload one more time we cannot make duplicates okay so that is one nice functionality that if a a, a client has data already uploaded we do not make duplicates from the same file the second one now let's go ahead and look for the second the second one uh there is another file here categories with updated data if i open this one okay so this one has the first uh like four emails the the categories like four of them this one is already exists okay you can see this chat email and all these ones already exists but then these three here okay these are new ones so it should only add the new ones okay so let's just see if it can smartly do that uh let's just go back to the app 
So I'm just going to refresh to make sure everything is okay. I'm just going to go to import. Just a second, import. Let's go here and open. Uh, you see categories with updated data. I can just preview this uh, to make sure everything is okay. You can see we have new data here. Let's just go and save. Syncing data, please wait. When it finishes, and voila so we have all these nice ones like the uh, the computers the graphic design and animal categories only three have been added okay uh man i'm so really uh feeling so nice after implementing this now we are just in the next episode we're just going to implement the export whereby you can now get all this data back to excel and as we are making our app more nice and more nice okay if you are happy and you want to really do this with me um you can simply grab uh, the course the course is just here you can just go and watch its um its video here see what you are going to build and if you're interested simply just enroll and we keep building a nice app okay thank you i uh, see you in class